Reef DVM is coming up to you today with an update on the bio pellets. It's been 18 months since we've started them, and we're in one of the six-month six intervals, which is when we typically have to add. Uh, our big system runs on about 300 mLs of um, bio pellets, and believe it or not, about every six months, it's down about half. So we add about, say, 150 mLs into it of bio pellets. Um, you can see by my two fingers here, I just pulled this out of the reactor, out of the sump. It's down about that distance. Um, so we want to fill that back up. As long as we're doing this six-month change, I want to talk and give a little bit of review on the Tropic Marin NP uh, bio pellets. I think these things have been great. Um, I used a brand before it for a short period of time. They clumped all together. They didn't tumble well, and then they ended up dissolving very quickly. These guys are dissolving, do not get me wrong, um, but over the course of six months, and they are not clumping. Even right now, this thing is, you know, completely unclumped with a little bit of water flow through it, which is fantastic. Um, our nitrogen levels are, are zero. Our phosphates are down to a minimal level, which is what we want, because remember, I don't want to wipe those out. It's bad for my tank. I've got some things growing that need some phosphate. So basically, every six months, this is now the third time I've done it, I pull this out. I clean out the outside of it a little bit so I can see it better, and I add my Tropic Marin pellets to it. Obviously, this jar has pretty much lasted me almost 18 months, so I haven't gone through a lot of this stuff, which is fantastic. You can see the color difference there. The lighter's on top, the darker's the older stuff. I never dump out the old stuff completely because I want some of that bacteria to, to kind of harbor in. And as, of course, as you know from previous videos of way back old, um, we do add about once every other week, about 5 mLs of um, Microbacter 7 by Brightwell Aquatics to help keep this going. Once I got my container full, um, just my method, I like to put RODI water in this and soak this for a couple hours. Um, if you read the label, I think it might tell you to soak it a little bit longer, but you certainly want to make sure you soak this properly. Um, that way it tumbles correctly right off the bat. You get rid of any dust or debris that's in there too that you don't need to put through your system and work your um, protein skimmer any harder. I have my outlet of this going almost right to the protein skimmer, which is which is a good thing. So I haven't had any issue with it. But this is what I've done now for the third time, um, and it's working out really well. Um, I see a lot of people that put a lot more bio pellets in their system. I don't know, I guess it works for them, but I'm always worried uh, about the crash for those people. This is the amount that was recommended to me by the company when I started their product for my size of a system. So... Um, then what I do is I basically, after a couple hours, we take it out of the RODI water. Uh, we have everything kind of put back together already because this is such a nice device by Vertex. I modified it a little bit and stuff with the pump to, to make it into a bio pellet reactor, but it tumbles really nicely, which is good. And then what I basically do is I stick it in the chamber, I get the pump running, and I leave it run. I am not really one that turns on and off my bio pellets. I know... Some people run them at certain ends of the day, night versus daytime. I know some people run them for two hours on, two hours off, and all that stuff. Uh, I don't, guys. I put mine on a very slow tumble, and I run it 24-7. <laughs> and it's been like that for 18 months, and it seems to be working well. So once I start it up here, things kind of whiz around in there, but they uh, start to slow down and, and you know, kind of just go into a nice slow tumble here. You can see this red piece of PVC there dumps right down there by the skimmer, which is where I want it to. And, and this unit works great. Thank you for watching and like, liking the channel. Um, I appreciate it. And again, we're going to continue to use the Tropic Marin and give it a positive review today.